Hello guys, I am following up on a video I did a little while ago where I gave some different options for bras that look like cup bras. Um, and this was because cup launched a particularly egregious uh, ad that had the misfortune of ending up in my ad suggestions on Facebook. So uh, that was pointed. I wanna do something about the um, absolute queen of pretending to be revolutionizing the bra industry, Third Love. So if you somehow haven't heard of them before but have ended up on uh, my channel, Third Love has been around for several years now. I'm not sure exactly when they were brought in, but if you've seen anything I've ever made talking about how much I dislike bra startups, Third Love is usually the main uh, aggravator for any of those. They are absolutely doing the very classic bras are bad because they're made bad and the industry is bad, but don't worry, we fixed it. And they have maybe my least favorite marketing tactic, which is they have added half cup bra sizes. And I've explained why I don't like these in a couple of places, but long story short, basically what they are doing <laughs> is saying, the reason your bra doesn't fit is because your size doesn't exist, but we have it. So that means now you can never go shop anywhere else. And it also means that even though they have like a pretty small size range, they make a lot of claims about having a massive size range. And those claims are generally like, not true. I'm going to include a couple of articles from the lingerie attic. One of them uh, just goes through and talks about how many bra sizes each of these companies have. And I'm also going to include a review of some of the actual bras because I must admit, I've never tried them. It is hard for me to warrant spending what I would on like a Notori Feathers, which is my favorite tried and true bra, on a bra by a startup that is run by people who proudly claim that they know nothing about bras <laughs> and didn't know anything about bras going into this. Anyways, so I wanna do what I did for that cup video and I'm going to pull out some of Third Love's most popular bras. I don't know, I'll pick out some bras. And I'm gonna show you some alternatives from brands that I tend to trust more. The bras that I recommend from those brands aren't necessarily all bras that I've tried and they're not gonna be great for every shape or even necessarily the same shapes as these ones, but they are all very reputable brands that I would trust enough to try them out. I'm gonna start going through these. This is not to say that if you have and love your third love bra, that you need to stop and then it means that you're liking bras wrong. This is mostly just to say, I hate Third Love's marketing and I'm petty and spiteful. So let's take a look at some alternatives. <laughs> the first bra I wanna look at is their number one bra, which is listed right here, which I'm sure is actually their number one bra. So the thing I will say, I'm pretty sure that this is made for a relatively shallow cup, but immediately when I saw this bra, like years and years ago, I thought of this other bra called the Freya Deco Vibe. I hope you like the sound of my new mechanical keyboard. Currently it is, it's cute, but it looks like this. This is actually a uh, placeholder while I wait for my uh, Lord of the Rings Elvish keycaps to come because they were on pre-order. I actually just did like a whole revamp of my like keyboard setup so to make editing easier. And I don't know if anyone would be interested in seeing how I do my like editing and how I set it up to be as easy as possible. Um, but if you would be interested, let me know and I'd be happy to talk about it. Um, so I have a real gamer setup at this point. So in my store, we sold the Deco Vibe. And this bra is, kind of particular in shape. It tends to be best for people who um, are kind of fuller on top, have a little more projection, and also fits this model really poorly, which sucks. For people this works for, it's very good. Some things that you might notice that are uh, pretty similar. If you read Third Love's marketing copy, they actually say that these straps are why their stuff doesn't like fall off their shoulders. I don't know if they say this anymore, but they, did and um, it's stupid. But anyway, so we have these pleated straps, which I think are cute, but you know, some people might not like them. We have the same, you know, molded cup. We have the stitching at the top 
These are very similar bras. The main difference is that this is more of like a demi bra and this is definitely more like a plunge bra. The nice thing is if you are really projected or really full on top and you want a bra like this, this is gonna be a really good option for you. This is the kind of bra that when people find it and it works for them, it is then like their go-to t-shirt bra. That's my number one is the deco vibe. I know a lot less about molded bras than I do about any other kind of bra. The other bra though that I would say is similar but it does have seams is this bra by Parfait is also, no is also very similar. But you can see it does have seams on it, but that's part of why it fits better than most molded bras tend to. Very similar structure, much more of a demi shape than um, the deco vibe is. And I think it would work well for the same people that this one would work for. It's not gonna be a perfect match, but I think in general, this kind of bra is one that doesn't tend to fit most people when you start getting drilling down into the uh, fit specifics. But if you want a lined demi bra, then I think the Charlotte could be a great option. But let's look at some of their other bras. This one looks exactly like a Notori bra down to like where they put the oh, fucking charm. I wonder if they don't have it anymore. Notori used to have a bra that looked exactly like this, like down to the mesh that went up here, but they may have discontinued it. So I'm not seeing it. Dang, wow, I'm really not finding this bra. I think that it might, might in fact be uh, discontinued. But <laughs> the good news is um, this is very similar to uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of bras. So you're basically looking at just like a black mesh plunge bra. So as far as like fit goes, this is basically identical except it has the lace on the top and the bottom. I find that this lace to be pretty invisible under t-shirts, but um, I know that some people like really don't want lace on their bras. So if you want something like this and you like lace or don't mind lace, this is like excellent, perfect, premium. So there's definitely also some options that Chantel has. Something to keep in mind is that some lace is textured, but some of it is also literally just like another way to do mesh. So this bra would probably on look and feel very, very similar to that third love bra. Yeah, and then this um, a Manhattan t-shirt bra, I think would also be a good option, which just looks like this. Okay, so not as exact of a match as I was hoping for. We take what we can get. So then I wanna look at this one. This one I am looking at and I, this, this is, a very strange design to me, to me. I've only ever really seen designs like this used for sports bras. Honestly, for this one, even the Freya Deco vibe, I think would also work. It says like full coverage, but it's not really that full coverage of a bra. Looking at this, this cotton bra that they have, will say, I think this is the only bra that's exactly like this that I know of. Some of those Chantel Thomas bras look kind of similar, but if what you would be interested in for something like this is having a natural fiber, then I would recommend the Parfait Tess, which I have recommended before. This one does not look that similar, I will admit, but so in general, cotton is rough for bras. It's not as bad for bralettes, but because bras are so picky about fit, you can have trouble with cotton because the recovery isn't as good as a lot of synthetic fibers, which is why most bras are going to be made with synthetic fibers. And cotton tends to stretch out as you wear it, which just means that you have more of your materials which are going to be stretching out and then not necessarily snapping back where they need to be. Yeah, so that's what I would say about this one is like, personally, I would not go for a cotton wire bra unless I am sure that there are times when you have like allergies or something where you're going to need natural fibers. But also that bra that we were looking at is also a nylon spandex blend, so I'm not sure how good it would be for allergies there either. Looking at lace, this is very similar to many Chantel bras. If you want to find a bra like this, go to Chantel, go to bras, and then go to Demi, and you're gonna see 
a lot of bras <laughs> that are very similar to this. So, you know, this one's very similar. Oh, and then this one is actually the one I was thinking of. Definitely pretty similar. So Third Love Loves a molded foam cup. I have a video where I talk about why those don't tend to fit as well as other kinds of bras, but a lot of people do like them. So while um, something like this, I think will fit a lot more people and generally just work better at what it's trying to do. What is up with you pigs? It will not technically be the same because this is a like molded bra. I would love one day to try and hunt down the perfect like molded uh, bra. One, it would just be perfect for my shape. So it wouldn't be helpful for like 90% of people, <laughs> but uh, two, I just feel really wasteful spending all that money on bras that I don't want. They also have an unlined scoop bra. I'm just looking at like a high apex unlined bra. Um, so this style I genuinely do think tends to fit well. So then we can take a look at something like this. This is an unlined underwire bra from Notori. You know, will give you a very similar effect. Um, and then this bra. Oh, this is also a foam bra. Whoa. I take it back. This could actually work for one of the, one of those earlier bras we were looking at. Well, we can take a look at the Marianne unlined wire bra, the page unlined wire bra. Both of these are gonna be functionally very similar to something like this bra. So, okay, this one does look a lot like, I have only ever sold this one bra from this brand, so I can't like wholeheartedly recommend them, but I, Loved this bra. This was several years ago, and I'm like kind of wondering if the model has changed because I know it used to be closer to $80 and not $50. Very similar to this one. But I also think it looks a lot like the Flirt Demi Lace bra. Obviously, it's a little different. This one is not lined, but um, the fit is so good. If you want something that's like really a lot like this, the Sophia is a lot closer, but if you like the look of this but want it to actually like fit, I would recommend something like this. For any of these bralettes, I am just going to go with my classic recommendation of Cosabella. Um, they can be kind of pricey, but their quality is really good. When you look at their bralettes, I'm actually gonna take us. well, okay, so <laughs> they have kind of two different like models of bralettes that they make. They have their just like bralettes and then they have their curvy bralettes. So for any of these, there are like, they're just regular bralette bralettes, which I don't think, which I think tend to be cute. And like, if you're used to just wearing something like this and you don't really feel like you need more support, those are totally fine. But if you either have like a bigger bust, smaller cup kind of measurement, um, or just want a little more support from your bralettes, then I definitely recommend looking at their curvy line. This is just a very standard racerback bralette, and I would recommend this Never Say Never uh, curvy, racy racerback, or really any of their racerbacks are gonna be pretty good. They have like three levels. They have just their racy bralette, and then their racy curvy bralette, and then their racy ultra curvy bralette. Um, and so it just kind of like, the ratio is going up more and more. I think if you wear something like a triple D to an H, you're probably gonna be in the um, in the curvy section. And then if you are above that, you might end up wanting to go with the ultra curvy. This is literally just like a camisole with lace. Yeah, I could show you like every Cosabella bralette that's kind of similar to these, but I'm just gonna say in general for these, Cosabella probably has a, a better option, but also if you're doing something like this and you don't need a lot of support, it's not a huge deal and you can kind of get them wherever. You just need to know what you're comfortable with and what you're not comfortable with. And then we have the rest of these bralettes and shit, there's a lot of them. So this one right here is very similar to this like famous Calvin Klein bralette. This bralette is iconic. Does it do that much? No, but it's very cute and it works again, like if you want like a light amount of support um, and like shaping. So not something I would recommend if you have like a big difference in your cup and band 
size, um, if like that ratio is big. This is definitely what this is based on, so. Before a lot of these, I'm gonna say I have three main recommendations as far as places to get bralettes, basic bralettes like this that I trust a little more. But again, take it with a grain of salt because this is like, the stakes are very low as soon as you take the wire out. First, Nikki. So Nikki is a brand that I actually hadn't heard of and they um, gifted me a couple of bralettes a little while ago. Did not know what to expect because I had not heard of them before. This bralette has become like my go-to daily bralette. Um, it gives me my favorite shape as far as like a pullover bralette can. And the quality is really nice and it's really like sturdy. And also they have a lot of transparency about their like production processes and all of that, which is something Third Love does not have. And the tank, which for all the ones where I keep saying, ah, this is literally just like a tank top. This is basically that, but it actually has like a little more shaping. Um, I've not tried the tank though, so. If you decide to buy anything from Nikki, I also have an affiliate code in my description. If you wanted to buy it that way, that would be great, but only if you're already going to. So then we have Pact. Pact is great if you want to get like packs of bralettes. Their bralettes are like very medium. And I think the nice things about them are they're really soft, they're very affordable, and they also have really good production practices. I love their underwear. Like their underwear is my go-to a lot of the time. Um, their bralettes I think work really well if you are someone who likes to wear a lot of things <laughs> like this. Um, like you just want something really easy that you can slip on um, and you want a couple of different styles and colors. Um, and then the last one is Commando. These ones get a little more pricey. I've not tried the entire butter line, um, but the ones that I have tried, so I've tried this one, which I really like. I would say you don't want to do it if you're above like a triple D. This bra is so soft and so comfortable and does actually give really good coverage. Um, and then they do also have some other butter bralettes that look more similar to some of these other ones. Um, so for example, this one, which I wanted to try for a while, looks a lot like this one. I wouldn't recommend them if you need like a ton of support, but their stuff is really soft and really good quality. And um, it's all made in the USA. Uh, and I like it. So those are the three places I would go if you're looking at this kind of section. Again, though, if you love one of these or like if you think one of these is like exactly what you want, you are totally fine because you're not really going to be risking that much when you're going with a wire-free bra. Oh, and the last thing I wanted to say is I almost never recommend lined wire-free bras because I think they almost never fit well. Um, but I did think I would mention there is a, uh, a Cosabella padded sweetie bralette which is good and I think is a good way to go if you want something like that, but it is lace. Montel has a wireless bra. I feel like whenever I'm recommending like wireless bras, I feel like I'm like a, I'd rather you drink in the house mom. Um, because most of the time I think you're better off just not. Like something like the cup size lace bralette, I think is gonna fit way better and be way more beneficial than something like that's like a wire-free bra. Um, but if you're gonna do it, then I, you know, I can at least <laughs> point you to some places that um, I know are at least pretty good. So the wire-free t-shirt bra, this bra is good for a few reasons. It's really smooth. Um, again, I like this brand a lot. It's like very soft. Uh, it has a really good band size range and also you don't have to be quite as strict on the cup size as you normally would uh, because it's kind of like an approximate size. This is another kind of bra that people would try and then it would be like their go-to t-shirt bra. Not me, <laughs> but many people. Um, so I know that like for some people who just really want something smooth and wire-free, this can be a really good way to go. Yeah, the thing I'll say about it is it's not great if you're more like full on top or more close set because this thing in the middle can like cut off. But other than that, it's worth a try. Yeah, I have no idea on these sports bras. I feel like some of them might actually be fine. For this Muse T-Bag sports bra, 
recommended almost identical bra that I genuinely really like. Yeah, so there's a tank version of this and there's like a not tank version of it, but it, this, but it's just the Beyond Yoga Space Dye Slim Racerback Bra. Will this give you a ton of support? No, but neither will these. So for the Muse Longline Sports Bra, as someone with a lot of like textural sensitivities, the Girlfriend Collective Bras I have found can become kind of hard for me to wear once the band starts like beating up a little bit, but the quality is genuinely really good. So I would say for most people who don't have like specific textural sensitivities, these are very long lasting, good supportive sports bras uh, and made out of recycled water bottle. That's their whole thing if you don't know about them. But yeah, I would say so for most of these, you're pretty much looking at really light support. <laughs> this says that it is high impact support for B to D cups and medium impact for E to G cups. If you have a small cup size, most of these bras will probably be fine for you because they're not really designed to be that supportive. But if you do want something supportive and that's why you're in this area, I would look at brands more like either Girlfriend Collective or um, Outdoor Voices has a high impact bra that I like a lot. And then if you need really high impact, I would start looking at things like Fantasy and a lot of these other like Fuller Bust brands have wired workout bras, which are gonna give like actual really good support. Again, let me be clear, I have not tried these bras. Some of them might be good. Third Love though is a brand where their messaging and their marketing has not done the job of convincing me that they are really putting good information to use as far as what's gonna fit a lot of people and what is going to last a long time. I um, dislike their branding and that's mostly, that is what this is motivated by. So, you know, if you look at something by them and you're like, oh, I don't know if I trust them or their like quality, then hopefully this can be helpful in like pointing out some other places you could be looking. But if you do wear them and love them, then um, chase your bliss. That's all that I have for you this week. I hope you have a great rest of your week and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.